Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweshai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Today being the Passover, started uh, yesterday evening, which was Friday evening, till tonight, uh, Saturday evening, uh, the 20, 27th. And then we have seven days of unleavened bread, okay? Um, so, you know, this is especially for, for brothers, you know, that, or sisters, you know, that didn't really participate in the Passover, you know, you know, being new and everything. Um, I wanted to bring this out because this also goes into part of the Passover. We have to say the, the prayer in the Hebrew, you know, which let me actually get it over here. You know, I had everything written down. I actually don't have that one written down. Let me go get it over here. All right. So the Lord's Prayer in the Hebrew. All right. I have it written down right there. So this is Matthew 6 and 9 because it's important that we pray, you know, especially in these times, man. You know, when you understand the Passover and what the Passover represents and what it means, all right, and the significance of it, all right, this is the time of death all right for those that are not under you know that blood of yahweh shai and you know this is the the, the time of mercy is coming to an end and when it does the lord's angel all right is going to come back to reap you know to take out any impurities which would be of the nation of um of israel starting with the nation of israel the two-thirds and then the nation of edom and the other nations all right and there's going to be a remnant of israel that's going to be saved and those are the ones that are going to be saved by yahweh you know so it's important that we stay praying you know not just for the passover or you know um when something bad happens to you all right it's important to stay prayed okay unto the father and that's in joel chapter 2 and 12 you know you're supposed to turn your heart to the father which is Yahweh the Most High, not to any other deity or to anybody you want to consider the Most High. There's only one Most High, and it's not, you know, who the, who the world ignorantly calls God. All right, his name is Yahweh, which means he is, he exists, he is to be. Okay, so this is Matthew 6 and 9. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And what is his name? You know, that's in the book of Proverbs. So it says, Our Father. All right, we'll start with this. Our Father, go into the word Father, which is Patar, which when you go down, it's a metaphor. The originator, originator, and transmitter of anything. Okay? The most high Yahweh. So this is, uh, actually, let me see if there's one here in Toba 13. Con, this is uh, Toba 13 and 2. For he doth scourge, all right, talking about the most high God, Yahweh, and hath mercy. You see? So that's why we're supposed to stay prayed unto Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, so that he can have that mercy, man. And it's not just about the act of praying, Okay. It's the act of a contrite spirit, all right? The act of, of being sincere towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know? It's all of that that, that takes in play uh, into being, you know, uh, beamed up or being saved by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it says, he leadeth down to hell, which means he can destroy you if he wants, okay? And bringeth up again. That means if he wants to, he can hurt you. And if he wants to, he can bring you back again into a different body, okay? And if he wants to, he can save you. And if he wants to, he can destroy you, right? That's in Romans chapter 9. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, you know? So he has power over the clay, and we're all clay, all right? Despite some of us being Israelites and some of us being, you know, some of them being Edomites and other nations, we're all clay. So the Most High can really do whatever he pleases, with any nation he wants okay but he chose the clay of israel to be his people you know 
So it says, he bringeth down again, neither is there any that can avoid his hand. You see that? So nobody can avoid the hand of Yahweh the Most High. You see? So going back down here, let me actually get this one in Second Ezra. Chapter 6, and I'll start off at verse 1. And he said unto me, in the beginning, all right, this is the Most High speaking, when the earth was made, before the borders of the world stood, or ever the winds blew, before it thundered and lightened, or ever the foundation of paradise was laid, before the fair flowers were seen, or ever the movable powers were established, before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together, or ever the heights of the air were lifted up, before the measures of the firmament were named, or ever the chimneys of Zion were hot, the air, the air uh, and air the present years were sought out, and or ever the inventions of them that are not, that now sin were turned, before they were sealed, that have gathered faith for a treasure, that then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone, and through none other. By me also shall they be ended, and by none other. You see? So the Most High created everything. He is the originator and transmitter of anything. Okay? So if you realize that the Most High has absolute control over the whole entire earth and every single person that dwells therein and every single thing outside of the earth, then what manner of men should we be? Right? So that's why we have to have a contrite spirit and humble ourselves down to Yahabashim Yahushai. Okay, because he's the author of our whole faith. Oh, check this out. The, uh, the second one says the authors of a family or society of persons animated by the same spirit as himself. You see that? So that's our father, man. Yahweh. And this also proves um, reincarnation. All right, because the authors of a family being Jacob or society of a person animated by the same spirit as himself why because he's reincarnated you know but going back to the metaphor being the most high which is the creator of everything okay so that's why we're supposed to humble ourselves to yahweh and pray that he keeps us uh in his light you know so our father okay the creator of everything all right the progenitor of anything that is created yahweh which are in heaven hallowed be thy name now people want to go and, and and throw this prayer up without any understanding of what the prayer actually means all right so it says to render or acknowledge right so when you go to isaiah 28 in verse 9 whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall they make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the breast and drawn from the milk. And when you go into the word weaned in the blue letter, all right, that word weaned means to deal fully with. Okay? So if you're praying to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you're going to have to cut off some, some stuff, man. You know, that's in Acts 15 and 20. The apostle Peter said with the other apostles, these are the commandments that you're supposed to follow as being new beginners and coming into this truth and tr into this wisdom into this body okay so if you're not putting away pollutions okay things polluting your body such as smoke you know smoking or or doing any type of you know uh wickedness all right profanity things that are outside of our 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 genus things that are outside of our heritage then you need to start putting those things away man you know so to render or to acknowledge is what that word means or to be venerable or hollow, right? So if we're hollowing his name, we have to deal fully with what the most high represents. Okay. And Psalms chapter two says his son is something that we should fully represent. So if we're fully representing Yahweh and representing Yahweh Shai, again, what manner of men should we be, right? So it says to separate from profane things 
and dedicate to the Most High. You see that? And that's in the Lord's Prayer that everybody wants to say and wants to speak and wants to pray out loud. But nobody truly understands the meaning of the prayer. Okay? Except for, you know, of course, the, the, the men at Great Millstone. You know, I'm talking about people outside of that. You know, they want to throw up the Lord's Prayer and, uh, you know, uh, You know? Which is the first the, the first part of the prayer, um, meaning our heavenly Father that is in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Yahweh. You know, but not understanding how are you hallowing the name? Yahweh Shai said, uh, indeed the prophet spoke uh, right about these men. You know, roughly paraphrasing, their, their hearts uh, they they honor me with their lips, or with their lips they do honor me, but their heart is far from me. Why? Because they don't acknowledge Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They don't separate from profane things to dedicate to the Most High. You see? And down here it says to purify. And when you're purifying yourself, right? Uh, they that have this faith uh, purify themselves. This is uh, John, or 1 John, chapter 3, and verse 1. Behold, the manner of what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of the most high therefore the world know us not because it knew him not you see so we have to be separate from the world man it says beloved now are we the sons of the most high and it doth not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when we sh he shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is and every man that hath this hope in himself purifieth himself even as he is pure. And how is Yahweh Shai pure? By the faith he has in Yahweh, in Yahweh the Most High, by the keeping of the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, all right, and by the, the service to Yahweh, you know, by purifying yourself, man, to cleanse externally, to purify by expiation, free from the guilt of sin, which is what? First, uh, first Peter's chapter 3 and verse 21. Right, whereby baptism also does not save us, not the putting away of the flesh, uh, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience towards the Most High Yahweh by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. You see, so a good conscience towards the Most High means, all right, uh, separating yourself from profane things. You know, it says to purify internally by renewing of the soul, which is the spirit. Okay, and that's what Yahweh Shai preached, you know, against the uh, the wicked Pharisees and the wicked scribes, man. You know, the scribes and Pharisees, the wicked ones, they were, you know, and plus the custom of the people, all right, they were cleaning the outside in appearance, right? But the inside was still polluted. And that's what Yahweh Shai came here for, to cleanse the inside. Because we were just doing sacrifices just to do sacrifices, you know? We weren't actually feeling that sorrow that pain, that guilt for the wickedness that we've committed. You know, we were just doing it just to do it and, and keep doing it again. We weren't acknowledging Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai anymore. So it says, hallowed be thy name, right? So Onoma means the name of proper names. All right. So what is the proper name of Yahweh? The cause or reason named on this account because he suffers as a Christian for this reason. All right, so you have the book of Psalms. Um, what was it? Uh, let me see. Name. Oh, I believe it was Proverbs. Yep, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower the righteous runneth into it and is safe so what is the name of the lord okay because that's a strong tower so you have to have the name of the most high yahweh right so matthew 6 and 9 after this manner pray ye our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name right which means we're going to follow after yahweh and we're going to honor and acknowledge everything that is good 
everything that is bad, everything we should do, and what we shouldn't do, right? That's what that first part represents. You know? And plus the name as well. Okay? So this is the first part in the Hebrew. This is the Adawan Palal, which Palal means prayer. Adawan means Lord. Okay? So it says Abba or Abba Noah, which you could say Abba Yanawa, which means my father. All right? And Nawa means our. All right? So you could say Abba Nawa or Abba Yanawa. You know, we know in part, prophesy in part. It says Shabbat Shamayim. All right? Which is in heaven. Okay? Our father, which is in heaven. Kodash. Holy, which means separate. That means you're supposed to follow Yahweh more than you ever followed any other deity. Okay? If you come into the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and you used to follow a deity pretty hard, all right, or pretty faithfully, you're supposed to follow Yahweh, the Holy One, separate from all the other deities, much more than them. Okay? Hayah, meaning be. Shamka. Sham means name. Sham 